We all learned about photosynthesis at school where plants take sunlight and turn it into food. But photosynthesis also produces small amounts of electricity. And scientists in this lab in Cambridge have used algae to power a computer processor for a year. So Paolo, you basically put a jar in the river cam and got all of this out? Totally correct. This and algae? Is, uh, yeah, it's probably a mix uh, including algae, some water plant, probably some, also some bacteria. Okay, so when you plug it into your little weather station here... Yeah, so all, the, all, all these three jars are connected together. And if I close the circuit, the weather station comes to life. It's powered. The team found that the non-toxic algae didn't need feeding and still generated power during the night despite the fact there was no sunlight. It could replace batteries, which use finite metals that need to be mined out of the ground. One of the biggest things about your work is you were using this cell on and off for a year, weren't totally you? correct. And you've got one here you've been using for three years on and yeah, off. Yeah, yeah, this little one is actually more than three years old so and it's still running. Like its own little ecosystem inside there. It is very much, yeah. With enough of the stuff, you could power things like tellies, but that's not how the team thinks it should be used. If you are off-grid, perhaps in a remote location and you need a, a small amount of power, this can be the solution. So you mean like African villages where they have good mobile phone coverage but no electricity to charge the phones properly, they could use them there, is that how you mean? That is actually a possibility, or even for, for us, we are surrounded of small electronic devices for, for example, sensing, and they are pretty much all of them off-grid. Oh, like traffic sensors and things? Yeah, totally correct. Richard Westcott, BBC News, Cambridge.